draw on that Z sphere, it's important to do that on both sides of the Z sphere. Again, building the branches, drawing more Z spheres, extending them out using the move tool. You want to make sure that the bases of the vessels are the same diameter as the end of them. Making the branches more irregular using the move tool. I'm building a smaller branch that will be a good example for later of how to um, give the geometry more uh, polys in a particular area. Now I'm using preview under adaptive skin to be able to see the model better. Changing the draw size and smoothing out some of these sharp bends. I'm going to go back in and thicken that up in a minute. Switching to move elastic tool to move some of those bends around. Inflate tool and smoothing, using inflate and smoothing back and forth to be able to um, correct the thickness of the arteries where we messed it up a second ago. Select lasso tool and resuming in, you can hit sh tap shift gently on a particular area to and then zoom in on it if local symmetry is activated. What I just did there is we uh, went under display properties to see double so that we could see both sides, inside and outside of the vessel. We're select lassoing, delete hidden. You know, it happens kind of fast in the video. It's under geometry, under modify topology, delete hidden. So the end caps that we've hidden are deleted. Now we're drawing curves around using Q Remesher Guide Brush, and this is going to help our edge loops to be clean. I'm not sure if this is necessary on this kind of a model, but on certain, uh, like humans and other uh, more complicated models like that, this is a really helpful tool. I'm just doing it here just in case. I'm just hitting all the end areas to make sure that the uh, areas near intersections and the caps are correct. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't follow your guides exactly. Now I'm masking out the smaller brush because we're going to want some more polys in that area to give it more detail. I selected same under Q Remesher, Auto Mask, and we hit Q Remesher to remesh. And so now we're going to fix the mesh a little bit here. You can do a different number of polys under there, and if you unclick same, you could hit target polygon count and actually tell it how many polys you want. Now I'm just uh, giving some irregularity to the surface, make it look more organic using the uh, clay sculpting brush and smoothing it out. Given the more model, the model more subdivisions as well. Now I'm using the soft polish tool um, to flatten the vessel a little bit. If we want to make it look more like a vein here, um, you wouldn't do this obviously if you're going to do an artery, but for a vein, you can kind of give it that, that flatter look that a vein has. I smooth out the edges a little bit more than I have here, but I'm trying to be quick about it. Now if we want to give it some thickness, we're going to go to the Extract tool under Subtool. Um, set up the settings, I think 0.2 or less, um, using 0.1 here since it's a vein. And we're going to go ahead and hit Extract and Accept. 